Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Coffee in hand, International Robe Day, yay! I love robe days. <laughs> yes, I'm still in my pajamas, I've been playing. It's a wild and wintry day today. Storm warnings have been broadcasted, so we'll see what's going to happen. This is a short video and we're playing with a rusted slide. Uh, I used two little people from Tim Holtz, people, <laughs> I don't know what they're called, I'll look them up. There'll be a link under the video for you. Uh, and I used the rusted paste. Now it's $13 for three the three jars of the rusted paste, which I got on Amazon, which I'll leave you a link. And what I can tell you is I have rusted a lot and we have had a couple of classes where everybody used my rust paste and I still have more than half a jar of each left. So it's a $13 investment, very fun to play with, and the darn stuff lasts forever. So I want to do a shout out, but I'll do it on the, on the other video. Um, I don't know if Linda is a Patreon or not. So she has been just a very generous contributor to our village. So. I'll shout out to her here and then I'll shout out to her on a public video as well. So this one is for my class, my hands-on class, and you Patreon um, subscribers, thank you for your support. So enough from me on this wintry day. See you on the table. Okay, here's your project for today. It is the double-sided slide that's been rusted with some clips on the end. You'll need some tape, some copper tape. It's a little bit more than a half inch. I used a flat brush for the stippling and some glue dots. There are small glue dots for gluing the little images down. The three rust pastes and a little bit of the turquoise. Well, there are the little images that I use. They're Tim Holtz. A little bit of uh, underpants there and a couple of microscope slides. And we are ready to play. I ripped the underpants to the size that would fit better in the microscope slides, kind of at an angle. Didn't seem to matter later whether it was an angle or not. It pretty well filled the whole slide. I'm going to take a couple of glue dots and I'm going to glue down the little Tim Holtz people. These glue dots are tiny, so I'm happy for that. I'll just put a glue dot on the little person and then stick them onto the underpants. Obviously one on either side so that it's a double-sided microscope slide. Lay your images in the microscope slide and get ready for your copper tape. Now the copper tape I cut three lengths of this microscope slide. It was a bit generous. You can get by probably with about two and a half. And I laid the copper tape down and then put the microscope slide on its edge on the copper tape so that I was keeping the edges uh, level. For me, that works. And then just work that copper tape around those microscope slides, holding them together if you can. Wrapped it around, trim off the excess, and start really massaging it down.
I brought in my bone folder here to burnish it down nice and tightly. I just went around the whole slide, all four edges on both sides of the slide, and burnished that tape down. It's a fun little project, and it doesn't take very long to do. Right, I'm going to bring in the brown rust paste with my flat brush. You can use the stipple brush if you have a small one. I don't have a small one. So I just use this flat brush as my stipple brush. Just go around all, all four edges on one side with your brown. Don't be afraid to use a generous amount because it makes a very, very nice texture. And you're going to repeat this process uh, a few times in this project. And it was relatively easy to stay on the tape. All right, I brought in some yellow. I use brown, yellow, orange in that order, and then a little bit of the turquoise. But play with it. See what works best for you. It's fun to play with. Mix it up. I don't clean my brush in between, obviously. Everything's all contaminated and I'm okay with that. I just go back and forth, adding more texture, more texture, more texture. And I brought the rust color, the orange color in, add some of that, it blends well. And I brought in some of the turquoise, blend that with my finger a little bit. So much fun. All right, we'll let that dry, flip it over, and do the same thing on the back. I start off with the brown, all around the four edges. Now you know how to do it. And then I put the yellow, and then the orange, and then the turquoise. Set that aside to dry. Since I used some clips for this, I wanted them to look rusty as well, and they certainly don't look rusty. <laughs> they look new. So I'm going to add some brown rust paste to those little clips, and then some yellow, and then some orange, really adding some fun texture. Don't be afraid to use a little bit of that. It goes a long way. It really does. So I go the brown, the yellow, the orange, and then the turquoise. And we'll set that aside to dry, and then we will grab the other clip and, yep, repeat the process. All right, now the slide is dry on the front and the back, so I'm going to go around the four edges and make sure that they have that rusty appearance as well. Uh, like I say, I do the brown, the yellow, and then the orange and a little bit of turquoise, but play with it. Make it do what you want it to do. It's very, very fun to play with. And we'll let that dry. It's all dry. Bring the clips in. Put one clip on either end. Everything is rusted nicely. I know that uh, I want to attach this to our altered book. So that's why I put those little clips on there. So that is your project for today. 
pretty darn fun. Doesn't take very long. Go create, go play, go have fun.